Yes, happy evening. <coughs> wow, when I look at the video, uh, a thought comes into my mind, you know. What happens uh, if my life uh, is without Amway? You know? Where would I be? You know? This is the question uh, I need to ask myself over and over again. You know? Happy evening once again. Uh, my name is Lee Kai Long and my wife uh, is Lam Kwai Lit. My sponsor now and my diamond is MV Malaysia. Okay, so thank you, Edwin, for the warm welcome and introduction. So can I start uh, my sharing right now? Yes, Mr. Lee, please. Uh, thank you. Okay. okay. So let me share. Okay. So I believe everyone uh, can see uh, the video, the slides uh, that I present Great. you. It's clear. Thank clear. you. Yeah. Yes. My voice is okay. Uh? No problem. Uh? Fantastic. Okay. Fantastic. Before I start off, uh, I have to give you some warning. Uh. Okay. First uh, warning is that uh, when you see the Malay and Chinese uh, translation, uh, it is not done by professionals. Uh, the translation is done by uh, uh, apps uh, that you can get easily from the internet. You know? And uh, when you hear some English uh, that is sound not familiar, you no, know, it's not a problem if you're hearing, hearing, you know, is this just the way I pronounce my English, you know, okay. So it's nothing wrong with your hearing problem, you know, it's the way that I pronounce uh, my, uh, the English, you know. So don't get too worried about that, you know. Okay, when we talk about success, everyone wants to become successful. Everyone wants to know the secret of success, you know. So when we talk about success, uh, we, the only way that we can do, what we can do uh, is to look at the people who are successful. And you have found that all the successful people have one thing in common, you know. It doesn't matter whether you are an actor or a professional athlete or a successful businessman, you know. The one thing that, the one qualities uh, they have uh, is uh, vision. Okay, and you heard it many times, where there is no vision, people will plan, perish. Okay, and without visions, uh, you'll be wandering around, around and around, going to nowhere, and you end up nowhere. You know? So all, com all successful people have one thing in common, and the first quality is it, vision. Henry Ford vision is that everyone can own a car. But during that time, uh, everyone uh, owns a horse carriage. It's because uh, they can carry more loads, and travel faster than a car, you know? okay? And everybody say, you know, what's the point of getting a car where it doesn't work as well as a horse carriage? But Henry Ford went on to build an assembly line that manufactured cars. And right now, of course, it's his history, you know? Another great person, Stephen, Steve Jobs, you know? And his vision uh, is that everyone can own a computer, you know? And everybody thought it's he is crazy because you know where I got can find the place uh, to house a computer. You know? And during that time, uh, computer means a big mainframe, you know, where you have a big space or big building uh, to house that computer. You know? But Steve Jobs went on to build Apple. And today, of course, it's history, you know. Okay. So what actually is vision? So in layman term, uh, vision uh, is the ability to close your eyes and imagine a future that not yet a seed, you know. Huh? A future that not yet a seed, you know. How can you imagine that? Let me see. Let you, what do you see, you know, out of this picture? Some of you say, oh, it's mountains, it's crops, it's a beautiful scenery. Scen uh, scenery, you know, okay. But Tan Sri Lim Gong Tung saw it differently. 
he saw Genting, you know. Everyone wanted to have a smaller uh, uh, storage hard disk that they can, uh, they can save uh, uh, their data, you know. One Malaysian saw it differently, you know, and he put it in a pen drive, you know. And that person uh, he invented the first USP, you know. okay. So if you ask around, our friends know, can you close your eyes and can you see your future? Most likely, yeah, the answer is no, you know. And the same goes to me, you know. As a teenager, you know, what can I see? What do I know about success? How can I become su successful? Why should I become successful, you know? And you need to know uh, that after nine years in school, uh, I almost passed my LCA. That's right now what you call PTW, you know, okay? A PPT, you know, okay? And what can a teenage like that do, you know? If I will open up a newspaper, the jobs that they can offer me uh, will be most likely uh, a career service boy, a lorry driver, or a construction worker. And what I do is that I end up as an apprentice working in a motor workshop. And I was paid 15 ringgit per month. Okay, I was very excited because during the time when we go to school, uh, I was only paid 10 cents. So 15 ringgit uh, is a very big thing, you know. And if I work very hard and I become seafood you know, of the trade, you know, I could most likely to earn 100 ringgit per day. And I work very hard uh, for one month, uh, most likely I will get 3,000. And with 3,000, most likely I will live an average drive. I will buy, during that time, I will buy a 120Y and live uh, with my parents and start our family, you know. And this is the life, the average life, you know. Okay. At times, I also wonder, you know, can my life be better? Can I have the things that I want in life, you know? Then one day, as usual, you sure, you know, I was working uh, in the workshop, you know. I was only 16 years old. I was fortunate. I saw my wish, vision uh, passing by me. She was pretty and beautiful. In fact, the most beautiful girls uh, in the world. More beautiful than Miss Universe. I was very excited because now I have a vision. My vision uh, is to marry her. And wherever I close my eyes, I can see her. I, when I start working, I see her. I eat, I see her. I go to the toilet, I see her. You know. The biggest problem uh, is that uh, I don't know her. No. I don't know where she stay. I, I, sorry. I don't know even her name, you know. She is a complete stranger. I don't care whether she's the beauty and I'm the beast, you know. All I want uh, is I want to spend the rest of my life uh, with her. <coughs> I want to take her to places all around the world I want to have Avengers, Avengers with her. I want to stay with a nice, comfortable house with her. I want to give her the best of my life, you know. And of course, I want to have babies with her. How much it costs? I don't know. Where can I find the money? I don't know. I don't care whether I'm earning 15 ringgit or I'm earning 3,000. I only see my vision. And you know, have you heard about this? When you want something, all the universe comprise in helping you to achieve it. I repeat, nah, when you want something so badly, all the universe conspires nah, in helping you to achieve it. Let me share further. No. And along the way, something happened. And it changed my life, you know. I met with an accident. Uh, and because I was laid off work uh, for six months, uh, someone talked to me 
and introduced me, asked me to go for MA OPP meeting. And uh, I was not keen because uh, what happened is that uh, I know my standard. I would not, I could not go into a business, you know. And, but whatever the person talk, I don't bother to listen. But something strike me. He said, if you qualify, if you work hard and you qualify, you tend to go to USA. You go to Disneyland. And that actually uh, elects my dreams, you know, because this is my dreams uh, to take my girlfriend uh, to USA, to Disneyland, you know. Okay. Now I got away. But hold on, my friend was saying, uh, hold on, Kylo, not too fast, not too fast, you know. Do you know anything about business? I said, I don't know. Do you know anything about sales? No. Do you know anything about direct selling? No. And don't forget, Kylo, you just only almost pass, you know, not pass, almost pass your exam, you know. And you are working as a worker, you no, know, in a motor work, you know. Okay. But for me, I only see the possibility, not the problem. I only see my vision, you know. And this on if, if with this uh, we plug into MA. When we start MA, I don't have anything. I was all alone. I don't have much friends. There was no meeting because we also don't know how to conduct meeting. And we don't have a sponsor. We don't have a TD. And it seems to like a game over for, for me because all my sponsor, all my DD, all quit the business. And the reason they gave uh, is that uh, with the limited products, uh, how then can they qualify for 12,500? And all the products are so expensive, you know. Take for example, a box of essay, two pounds cost 10 ringgit and six pounds cost 25. And this we cannot print then. Because during that time, way back in 1977, the average income for Malaysia is just only 200 ringgit per month. And to maintain a st basic standard of living, uh, they need 50 ringgit. And you're talking about 10 ringgit, 25 ringgit for a box of soap, you know. Who can able to afford that, you know. But for me, I do not see the problem. I only see my vision, you know. Yes, we don't have experience. We do not know how to handle things. When people say, oh, MA, uh, like holiday magic, you know, oh, the one that got, got banned in Singapore, you know, uh, it's a matter of time, uh, MA will be banned in Malaysia. We don't have an answer for that. Oh, look at the plan, you know, the way that they recruit, the way they sponsor. In no times, uh, everyone uh, in Malaysia will be uh, MA distributor. If you throw a rock, you know, and the rock uh, hit someone, uh, that one uh, become a M is a MA distributor. We also don't have any answer for that. Mm. In fact, not only we don't have answer, we don't have money also. I remember when we started MA business, uh, we don't have money to buy or even buy a white pot. You know, we went to the, I went to the hardware shops, buy a uh, plywood, and then painted it. And that one become our black pot, you know. And I remember all the money uh, we have uh, went into building up, uh, investing back to the business, you know. We bought an uh, H&M movie projector, cost thousands of ringgit at that time, you know. And build, business building materials is much as much as expensive. A row of frame, you know, from MA cost as much as four, as much as four hundred ringgit, you know. I remember very well uh, that we don't have money for petrol, you know. I always I used to carry a can that uh, we put in petrol, and when the when the my cars run out of petrol, we will put uh, petrol into the tank and then. Uh, look for money and at times uh, we don't even have money for a decent meal we just have a plate of rice put some gravy and it cost 40 cents at that time i remember the amount because i have to search all around my pocket uh, to search for 40 cents you know uh, this is how we started i believe most of you don't have goes these challenges you know we have many reasons uh, to give up the business. 
but my eyes only see the possibility, not the problems. I only see my vision. I work day and night. I work all the time, seven days a week, you know. Meetings after meeting we host, you know, okay. And I remember going driving up, uh, going up to Kelantan, you know, and my father got worried as most fathers do, you know, and he drove us all the way to Kelantan and he was sitting at the back of the meeting, you know, and you can imagine the scenario that we are in uh, during that time, you know. Uh, we, I don't know when, you know, and in what happened, and in 1979, I qualified as a direct distributor, and in March, I qualify as a Ruby direct. And my vision become a reality. I took my girlfriend uh, to USL, you, uh, Los Angeles, uh, Disneyland, and she was only 21 years old. And that is a big thing. Because during our time, during that time, you know, people talk about trips are going, is only going to Singapore or Lake Topa. Medan, Indonesia. And if you are going to USA, Disneyland is a very big thing, you know. Okay, so the number one qualities are that all successful must have, you know, is a vision, you know. And of course, big success uh, does not come without big challenge, you know. And so what do those successful people do? They do the second most important thing is they hang on. They don't give up. They meet challenges, uh, they don't give up, you know. Do some people say, Kailong, this is easier for you. Beginnings is easier. That's what everybody taught, you know. Have you ever talked to the pioneers? Have you ever talked to our crown ambassador, Sunny and Kwa Fa Ho? Just to order a product, uh, you have to wait seven days, you know. And there's no guarantee after seven days that you have paid, you get the products. And what happens is uh, you work very hard, you know, okay? And when you work very hard, uh, you qualify for trips, you know. Uh, you tend to go to pull out their man. Uh, in 1980s, 1980s uh, the leadership seminar is held in Sentosa. But right now, doing the same kind of work, qualify the same kind of points, you know, you are going to Alaska, Istanbul, Mediterranean coast, you know. During that time, we are talking uh, Cameron Highlands, uh, uh, Fraser's Hill, you know. And if you qualify a diamond, you know, in 1977, you know, your average income is less than 80,000. That is far less than a founder's uh, platinum, you know. You see, uh, the, leadership, the, the leadership bonus uh, during that time uh, is 375. And if you qualify diamond uh, with six groups, uh, it's just only 2,250. But right now, one group uh, leadership bonus is 3,000. And you have uh, six groups, uh, you are talking about 18,000 only. You know, a far cry from 2,250. You know. okay. Do you want me to tell you the challenge that I face? Of course, uh, no. Uh, you will take hours. Uh, but one picture are summed up beautifully. You know. Followers will never know how hard the leaders try to create a path, you know. Yes, your leaders uh, have created a path, you know, and we have to learn to appreciate and be thankful for what they have done, you know. So whatever challenges that you come along, you know, you have to hang in there, you know. You must not give up, you know. But yet people do give up easily, you know. Why? Because they do not know what is in their hands. In a book, uh, The Acres of Diamonds, talk about a story about one African uh, farmer, you know, who was not satisfied with what he had, you know, and he heard people, uh, other farmers saying that they have fine uh, uh, diamonds and all this, you know, and they, over the other side, uh, have the largest diamonds uh, mine uh, in the world. And what he did uh, is that uh, he sold his farm gave up his family and went on to search uh, the biggest uh, diamond mine in the world. You know? And many years passed by, you know, he died poor, disheartened, broken, uh, without finding the diamond mines. You know? but, 
one day, the owner, the new owner of the farmer that he sold to, you know, walked along a, a small river that passed through the farm, you know, find something, see something shining, and he went on to, to, to pick it up, you know, and out there comes the biggest uh, diamond, you know, and underneath his farm, you know, is the biggest uh, diamond mine in the world, you know. Most of us do not know that we have the acres of diamonds uh, right beside us. You know. To us, uh, we already have the acres of diamond. And do you know MA is the acres of diamond? MA is, is in, uh, we are in an MA whereby uh, in this business, uh, we have you uh, to realize the potential, to, to give you the skills. Uh, to, to master so how uh, you can be, uh, become more successful or not. You see, uh, CB, CBS News, you know, the one of the oldest and the largest broadcasting center in the world. You know, recently, uh, uh, published articles, uh, why you should join MA. You know, and these articles were written by a PhD holder, you know, okay, who's a financial plan, a uh, financial M retirement planner and author of a few best-selling books, you know. And inside he described, you know, okay. Inside he described, uh, MA can help you to learn and live and work with people more effectively. It can also help you uh, to overcome fears such as public speaking or even talking uh, to people, you know. Okay, and he said, if MA promotes uh, positive values, an environment where everyone has an incentive to help other people grow and learn, you know. And he said something, you know, something I couldn't appreciate. And like most people, new people, they don't appreciate uh, MA from the very beginning, you know. Okay. And that's why you must not underestimate uh, the power of MA training. Oh, it's just only a home meeting. Oh, it's just only a meeting. No, it's not just only a meeting. It's the power of MA training. MA training. You see, I was involved in the NGOs, uh, Junior Chamber International, JCI. You know. Many of you may not have heard of this before. You know. It's an organization uh, whereby uh, also one of the projects uh, that we are doing uh, is that we honor some most uh, 10 most outstanding person in the world before they reach 40, you know. And uh, one of the honorary that uh, uh, is uh, Jackie Chan, you know. And some of the people who are, some of the famous people who are involved uh, in JCs, uh, uh, like the Prime Minister, uh, United Nations Secretary General, the President of United States, and we have businessmen like uh, CNN, okay. And then Domino Pizza, Seco. And because of me being actively involved uh, in the organization, uh, I was selected uh, to represent Malaysia uh, to, attend, to attend an uh, academy uh, sponsored by JCI uh, in Japan. You know. And I was elected as their 19th national president. And past national president, uh, Involving in, in, in the organization are the president of uh, Malaysia Friendship and Trade uh, Center in Taiwan. Okay, and that carries the role of uh, ambassador status. You know. We have a church, we have franchise uh, founders, and my achievement in Junior Chamber International or JCS uh, is due to my MA training. MA deserve all the credit. Yeah. And if a person do not have the confidence, do not have the leadership skill, do you uh, think an organization like that will accept a person uh, to let them? They will reject you straight away. You know? No question asked. You, know? you see, a uh, uh, university in the United States uh, make a survey to find out what the boss uh, wants uh, out of employee. Why this boss uh, promote uh, this person, you know? And they come up with five top skills uh, 
employees look for no okay one of them is critical thinking and problem solver teamwork number three they're talking about professionalism and strong working ethics then fourth oral written communication skill and fifth leadership and all this uh, is what this person has been talking why you should join mway you see for the past 40 years you know i do nothing i only do mway i have nothing and i only have mway and i strongly believe uh, that when you have mway that is enough so don't take mway for granted you know okay don't always say that oh the class is always the other side oh that one pay more bonuses oh that one is faster no okay and once you leave this is very hard for you to make a comeback you know so you need to keep working you need to keep going you keep the faith and hang in there you know uh, yes there is a lot of fears there is big challenges coming your way there is big problems that you cannot handle but always, always goes to the third thing. Whatever, whenever, when everything happens, it happens for the good. Every time say to yourself, oh, this one is happened, it's because it happens for the good, you know. A story talk about this, in a far away kingdom, you know, there live a king and a very wise uh, prime minister. And every time there are crisis in the country, you know, the prime minister will say, oh, everything happened, it happens to all the good. When the king say, oh, we have famine in the country. No, your highness, it's okay. Everything happened, it's happened to all the good. When there's a fruit in the country, oh, don't worry, the highness, your highness, everything happened, it's happened for the good. Now, King was getting angry and angry, you know, and he, because of the wise uh, prime minister said, okay, I forgive you. you know. But one day the kings went for hunting and decide to sharpen his knife, you know, and accidentally cut his finger, you know. Ah, oh, he said, ah, this is the right time. I can catch my prime minister, what he has to say about this, you know. So he called the prime minister and said, Prime Minister, you see, I cut my finger. What do you have to say about this accident? You know, he said, "Oh, Your Royal Highness, do not worry. Yeah, everything happened. It happened for the good. You know, oh, the the king, I cannot stand anymore. You no, know, and send the Prime Minister to jail. You know, and he went for the hunting. And along the way, there was a storm, and he lost. Mm, uh, he cut loss of the party. You know. And he was cashed by the head hunters, you know. And he was made as a sacrifices to their god, you know. And before they do that, uh, they will check uh, any impurities uh, that the person have, you know. And they found out uh, that the king uh, have a wound in his hand, you know. And that make him uh, imperfect. And this is a tattoo uh, for their tribes uh, not to sacrifice uh, an imperfect humans uh, to they are God, you know. So they let the kings go. And happily, he went back and he released the prime minister and said, Oh, prime minister, prime minister, whatever you say uh, is good, you know. I really uh, appreciate what you say. I really know what you mean when everything uh, happens, it happens for the good. But for me, it's good, you know. But what about you? I have sent you in jail for no reason. Your royal hunters, it's true. You see, if I went hunting with you, you know, you know, I will be staying closely by your side. And if they catch you, they will also catch me, you know. And I have nothing wrong. I'm a perfect man, you know. And I will be the one you know, who be sacrificed uh, to their God, you know. So remember, whenever think and whenever, whenever things are. Uh, happens you know and that you cannot happen and uh, you cannot handle always say this you know whatever happens it happens uh, for the good you know always remember that everything happens for a reason it might not make sense now but at the right time uh, 
it were, no. Uh, let me explain, you know. I almost passed my LCA, you know. What will my future be? You know? I end up as a apprentice in a motor workshop, you know. How far can I go, you know? Why is my life like that, you know? But through this, uh, I meet my vision. What about the accident? I met an accident. Okay. And I landed in the hospital. I cannot work for six months, you know. Why does it happen to me? Huh? Why, 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 you know? It's just that I can tell on it, you know. Huh? Being negative, as I said, uh, only make the journey more difficult, you know. You may be given a cutters, you know, but you don't have to sit on it. Yes, the things already happened. You want to delve on the negative or you want to delve on the positive. And because of that accident, sir, I ventured into MA. And you might not know or know. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah. I always remember that everything happens for a reason. It might not make sense now, but at the right time, uh, it will. Yes, you see, the accident happened. I landed in the hospital. I cannot work for six months. Do you know what happened next or not? And because of the payout by the insurance uh, that give me the money uh, to buy my first car. You know? And because of I have a transport, it helps me to build up my MWA business. Can you now, right now, see uh, this or not? Uh, when you want something so bad, you know, all the universe conspire in helping you to achieve it. So you have to hang in. Do not give up. Every time say good things are going to happen, have faith, stay positive. In the in time, things will fall into place. You don't need, need to worry why I cannot sponsor this, why I don't have this, why this person resigned. Why that person still not growing, you know? Have patience, have patience. Times will tell, okay. And years, many years ago, you know, when MA have meeting, and I used to attend meeting, you know, and the speakers will tell, you know, oh, we sponsor one professional doctors, uh, we have engineers, uh, we have accountants. Uh, oh, they're, they're talking about international business, uh, how their business uh, grows uh, and all this. Uh, and of course, right now, we are talking about Gen Y, you know? And every time after the meeting, uh, I always say, you know, I wanted this also. You know, when uh, my group is going to have all these kinds of in international business, uh, all these professional people, uh, all this, you know. So I keep working. I keep going. I keep having the faith. You know, I hang in there. You know. I do not know when. You know. Now, we have uh, a group of Gen Ys you know, leading all the way. We have to win. We have Kif Ong, uh, whose father uh, uh, is a founder's admiral, direct on Chuan Ki. So Kif Ong uh, is a second uh, gen, uh, gen Y, uh, second generation. And we have Zach and Zaidi. Okay. And some of them uh, are working uh, to qualify admiral this year. No? Okay. And this young man, you know, told his sponsor, no? that uh, you give me few days, I will come back and sign up. When you heard this, uh, normal people, okay la, okay la. But actually this person really do that, you know. He went back, resigned, come back with the money and buy the stock ticket and sign up. And out of the ISMA, he kept on building up the business, you know. But what happened next uh, is that uh, uh, in China, uh, because of the success of MWA, a mushroom, a lot of, illegal direct selling, criminal scheme, you know, and China banned all sorts of direct selling. And what happened then, you know, with the strong backing, you know, of our crown ambassador, Sunny and Kwa Kwa Ho, you know, their strong leadership, their strong motivation, you know, they keep on encouraged, uh, they keep on <clears throat> making contacts uh, with him, you know, and when he, when then problem arise, uh, they are there, to support him, you know. Kan Ji Wei uh, went on to become, build up one of the biggest uh, MA group in China. He went on to become a crown ambassador 
Uh, no, sorry. He went on to become a diver diamond and have thousands of silver producer and upwards uh, in his group, you know. And one of his group, one of his distributors, Wang Zhongping, uh, qualified escape diamonds uh, to crown ambassadors uh, in a year. You know. Dr. No Asmi and Dr. Siti, two doctors, professional doctors, running four clinics, very busy doctors, you know. Okay, went on to become the first Pumi Putra in Malaysia to qualify Didi, Ruby, Pearl at that time, and later went on to become a diamond. And you know what happened next? Dr. Asmi went on to become the deputy health minister in Malaysia. You know? And how many of us uh, can probably say that I have a deputy minister in my organization. You know. Can you see that? You see, and being such, holding such a high position, uh, Dr. Asmi is a person who is so humble and so grateful. You, know. you see, some of the WhatsApps uh, that, we, <clears throat> that he sent to me, you know, hey, request, can we meet this Friday at 8, 8.30? Oh, yeah, he will send me, of course, uh, no problem of that uh, meeting. Uh. And when he's running late, uh, yeah, he will ask, uh, he will WhatsApp me and say, I have a long meeting with the minister today. So sorry, I might reach between 8.30 to 9.30. I uh, help minister apologizing, you know. Yeah. Yes, eh? And in Father's Day, ma, uh, whatever, uh, he will send me greetings, you know, and give a small quote. Caption is so say, oh you my you are my teacher, you know, and I will reply back. Yeah. And this is what he said, you know, thank you for introducing and guiding me. I'm a, a deputy health minister, a diamond. You know, after so many years, has not forget you know, to thank his sponsor. And if you get one like that, it's already enough, you know. And he was telling, oh come to my office, you no. Know, when are you coming to my office, you know? All my stuff in my office, I joined my MA group already, you know. If you come, uh, it's like an MA meeting, bring quite a lot. For him, he don't need to do MA. He don't need to do MA, but yet he's so excited over the MA business, you know. So you do, do, in order for you to see all this happening, you need to keep working, you need to keep going, you need to keep the faith, you need to hang in there, you know. Why? Because it will all be worth it in the end. It will all be worth it in the end. Kai Long, you tell me all those thousands of phone calls, you know, is it easy? The answer is no. But if you ask me, does it, is it worth it? Yes, absolutely. Yes, 100%. Yeah. If you want something easy, remember, if it's easy, it's not worth it. You need to keep working. You need to keep going. You need to keep the faith. You, know? you need to hang in there because it's worth it. Uh, let me explain further. I took my wife uh, when he was 21 uh, years old to Disneyland. You know? Since then, what happened? You know? She's riding camel with me in the desert. She went with me to safari, see elephant tiger, uh, elephant lions uh, in South Africa. We went snowmobile in Hokkaido, uh, play with the dolphin uh, in Dubai, see one of the wonders in the world in Rome, uh, cruise along Alaska, cruise Mediterranean cruise, visiting uh, Barcelona, Morocco, uh, sailing uh, in Sydney, Climb the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Uh, went to the tallest mountain. Oh, no, not the tallest mountain, sorry. Tallest building in the world in Dubai. Uh, climb the beach, Sydney Bridge, you know. And in Hawaii, we run the half marathon. And that is not enough. Uh, we do a buggy jump uh, in New Zealand and get all the MA stuff so worried, you know. Okay. And we went to MA Corporation. We're HQ three times, you know, and we were invited to MA Chartered Cruise. We have 
nice food in nice surrounding, nice environment. Okay. After thousands of rejections, is it easy? No. Is it worth it? Yes, absolutely. 100%. You, know. you want something easy? Remember, what comes easy won't last long. And what lasts long won't come easy. You, know. you need to keep working. You need to keep going. You, know. you need to keep keeping the faith. And you need to hang in there. You know. Yes, I don't want uh, to work until I retire and die spending only 15 years to be free. You know. I work uh, only five years yeah, in MA, work really hard. You know. And for the past 30 years, uh, I have not been actively involved in the business. I've been actively enjoying my MA life. You know. Okay. And we are work seeing the world pay in full, you know, and uh, we have learned uh, so much in Amway. And one thing we have learned uh, in Amway is that uh, I've learned to become a dream, a dreamer. I dream of things uh, that I have never dreamed before and see places that I've never seen before. I, I dream of going to the place uh, that I see in the TV or travel magazine. You know. We rented a car, drove 3,000 care to see the Rocky Mountains uh, in Canada. Okay. Uh, we went to Lake Louise. We went to Niagara Falls. We went to Venice. We visit the romantic St. Tony Island. And of course, when my wife uh, is 60 years old, uh, we celebrate his birthday uh, in Maui, you know, Maldives, uh, in a small island, you know, and to uh, book a uh, sunset uh, over the sea villa, you know, okay? We do some snuggering, uh, and we just enjoy ourselves uh, to be alone, you know. After hundreds uh, of midnight bus trips, you know, is it easy? No, no, no. Is it worth it? Yes, absolutely, 100%. You want something easy? Remember, if it is easy, it's not worth it. Mm. You need to keep working. You need to keep going. You need to keep the faith. You need to keep hanging there. You no, know? in nineteen ninety one, I'm. We went over to Disney World, you know, and we enjoy our stay there. You no, know? and I make a impossible in impossible dream. You know? So one day I will take my ch children to this Disney World. You know? And you still remember mm -hmm. when you want something, all the universe will conspire in helping you to achieve it. You know. in, nine, in 2000, MS said that if you qualify with higher ALS points, uh, you can bring along your family. So we work hard. We take our children to Las Vegas. And with that, uh, we learn something from MA. You know. MA help us uh, our to make our family closer. And since in the year 2000, you know, and every year we take our families uh, to one place uh, we have not been before or no. Uh, we took them to Japan 17 days. Uh, we traveled by, uh, by train uh, all over Japan. We went to Osaka, we went to Tokyo, we went to Hiroshima. You know. We spent 16 days in Korea from Seoul uh, from Busan, uh, we take a ferry to Chichu Island, you know. Okay. And uh, after that, uh, we go back again with our family, now with our grandchildren in 2015, after five years. And in 2020, you know, we took our family also to so again, you know. Okay. We spent 17 days uh, in New York, or uh, Orlando, you know. Okay. We went to visit. MS Center, we heard so much about that, okay? And you still remember in 1991, I made a dream uh, to take my children to Disney World, you know? And in 2017, uh, we realized that dream, you know? And I look back, you know, in 1996, you know, I wrote down uh, some of the things uh, that, uh, some of the goals uh, that we want to do, uh, and about Disneyland, you know, okay, like Disney World, you know, what, 
the cost and all this, you know, okay, the price and all these sort of things, you know. And so I remember looking at the hotels uh, that we stay. And you are talking about during that time, there's no internet, you know, okay. You know, 21 years later, in 2017, okay, we stay in the hotel uh, uh, for seven, for 12 next, uh, the same hotel. Uh, 21 years ago, I have written. Is this a coincidence or something or some way have worked miraculously? You know? So every day in Orlando, uh, we went to visit a theme park, you know? Magic Kingdom one day, uh, Hollywood Studio one day, Magic Kingdom one day, Universal Studio one day, uh, Islands of Vanya one day, Silver one day. You know? And we realized that when the families are together, you have everything, you know, and it's so true, you know, okay. So after thousands of miles, you know, of, of km, you know, uh, kilometer, is it easy? No. Is it worth it? Yes, absolutely, 100%, you know. You want something easy? Remember, it. if it comes too easy, it's not worth having it, you know? okay. So you have to keep working, keep going, keep the fit, keep hanging in there, you know. And through the MA experience, I have learned another thing is that we, along the way, we are creating memories. Uh, my grandson still talk about uh, his celebration in Orlando, the, great, the, the biggest uh, entertainment McDonald's in the world. You know. It's a memory. It's, having tea with your good friends, you know, or old friends, you know, or spending time with the people that you love, you know, or just forgot everything, put off your phone, switch off your phone, everything, just listen to the sound of wave crashing, you know, and all these little memories mixed together last a lifetime. After thousands of meetings, is it easy? No, no, no. Is it worth it? Absolutely, 100%, you know. So keep working, keep going, keep the faith and hang in there, you know. Yes, people think I am crazy. People may think I am crazy just because I'm in the soap business, you know. But Dr. Our Diamond, Dr. Tatuk, Dr. Asmi said, you know, you see soap. I see hope. Uh, I see people, I see helping people changing their life better with MA. And I am the living proof of people changing their life better with MA. Do you, can a young man almost pass his LCA dare to dream? Uh, that one day he will be on the international stage, you know, standing in front of the uh, standing on the international stage, being invited uh, to chair an international meeting. Do you think he will dare to dream uh, that one day he will be sitting inside the United Nations building, you know, discussing the future of the youth? You know? Do you think uh, of a uh, Young boy, you know, who start off with 15 ringgit per month, you know, have the ability to take his girlfriend at the age of 21 to Disneyland and later took his whole family. You know. uh, so MA is an opportunity for me to start a new life. It's also an opportunity for you to start a new life. Mm. A, a life uh, that... Uh, I want to live, you know. As you pray for a better life, you know. Let me ask you this. Are you still focused uh, on your vision? And let me ask you, if life throw you challenge at you, you know, what will you do? Will you give up or will you hang in there? You know? And when you are given a cutters, you know, will you sit? Huh? on it or you stay positive and believing that good things uh, will happen you know if you have a dream give it 
a chance to happen. And remember that you are the magic. My life is better with MA. Your life can be better with MA too. Uh, and if you want to leave something behind for your family, I strongly encourage you to leave MA because I believe the greatest legacy we can leave for our children is MA and a happy memories, you know. And then that brings me to my end of my presentation. Thanks for attending, and that's the end. Thank you.